So many first responders and survivors of 9-11 have become sick and have died from those illnesses since that day 18 years ago. It's nearly as many people as those who died that day. A handful of first responders and survivors are living among us here in Maine. There are programs available to cover the costs of their health care from illnesses related to Ground Zero. And as one first responder shares with New Center Maine's Samantha Sugarman, these programs matter when confronted with a health scare. It's the cop life lifestyle. Wake I mean, up at 5 a.m. in the office for a full shift on little to no sleep. Milo Police Chief and Town Manager Damian Piquel wears a lot of hats. 2 a.m. I'm on call from 2 until 6 in the morning. Um, but now I'm not because I'm out sick, so my sergeant does it. Piquel is recovering from surgery one month ago to remove a mass growing in his chest. A biopsy confirms it is not cancer, but is a direct result of what he sees as just doing his job. And I was at a high school in the Bronx uh, when the towers got hit. 9-11, 2001, a day he thinks about every day. Weighs on you a lot. Piquel was working as a New York City police detective assigned to the morgue for nine months post 9-11, exposed to the air and the dust from ground zero. Most of us have health issues. Three different diagnoses of respiratory illness. His latest annual screening, finding the cause of his most recent health scare. The World Trade Center Health Program footing the bill for his surgery. Men and women are going to get sick and they are going to die. And that's part of why, why it was so important for John Stewart to, to take up the cause and help us out. My insurance here with the town wasn't going to cover it. <laughs> In Maine, there are 75 people, 64 responders, and 11 survivors enrolled in the health program. As of August, total enrollment is almost 100,000. And there's no guarantees that I'm not going to get sick again. So Piquel counts his blessings, which, for now, includes his health. I'll, I'll be happiest when I'm back in my cruiser. In Milo, I'm Samantha Sugarman, News Center, Maine.